Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, the Department of Labor and the State Comptroller are holding a hearing tomorrow about how that money was lost. And WJZ Live at 530 tonight. Rachel Cardinal joins us to break down why the Labor Department is on the hot seat here. Rachel. That's right, Rick Denise. Now, according to State Comptroller Peter Francho, a lot of the money paid out for unemployment was done electronically, making it very easy for criminals to trick the system. But he says, had the Department of Labor had some sort of security check in place, they might have billions more in the bank. This is the comment made Wednesday that is shocking Maryland taxpayers. Our experts in the Comptroller's office estimate that it's likely more than $2 billion have been paid in unemployment fraud in Maryland alone. Maryland State Comptroller Peter Francho says when the pandemic hit, about a million unemployment claims were people filing for the first time, families in dire need. Needed unemployment relief because they were not working, they couldn't pay any of their bills, so the unemployment payments were critical. But the Comptroller says in this emergency situation, billions of dollars were spent on fraudulent claims processed by the Department of Labor. Went directly to crooks, many of them in Russia and China. The issues with the system caused delays and holds on accounts for people truly needing that money. There are a lot of people that uh, were denied benefits because of the fraud. We introduced you to Stephen Cece last week, recently put on the fraud list for something he says was a slight paperwork error. I want the money that is owed to me. I mean, I've worked since I was a teenager. Um, I'm owed that money. Franco says his office pays about half a million dollars for a cybersecurity system to keep tabs on money being sent out. He hopes the Department of Labor will invest in something like this before more money is lost for good. Uh, we spend a lot of time making sure that the Maryland Treasury is not robbed by criminals in the tax area. Department of Labor did not do that. Now, we did reach out to the Department of Labor and have yet to hear back again. That hearing is scheduled for tomorrow, Thursday at 1.30 in the afternoon. We're live in Annapolis. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.